I hit my finger. Morning, Henry. We're in for a beautiful day today. It's a uh, DFR 450ZX cordless auto feed screwdriver. Good morning. Today we're doing some jip rocking. When there's screws sticking out like this one, is we come along with a little screwdriver and we just. Oh, this one's a bit short, but we tighten them up so they're not sticking out, so they're nice and flush or in, so the plaster can coat it with plaster and it's all flush. ones and then when our sheets join together they will kick up put your square in there see there's a little little gap under there so the plaster can fill it up with plaster and make it all nice and flush and seamless Here's the difference between the screws that we use for the walls and for the ceiling. Focus.
done. Bathroom ceilings up. playing with my camera. <laughs> That's not true. So we make our jam stick out 10 mil from our stud so that when the jip rock goes on it's all nice and flush so the arcs can go around. edges butt together, the plaster goes along, I'll show you an example over here, the plaster, see how it dips in, there's like a little dip, anyway, the plaster comes along with some paper, along that seam and he fills it up flush with plaster and then sands it, and so on the ceilings, where all the sheets butt together in every single bay you have to put a back lock it's just a sheet of jip rock about this big and it has what's called back blocking adhesive on it and so what that does is it just supports the um the edge of the sheet in between the battens where the screws won't be that's all it does problem kept happening with my buckaroo shoulder straps after a while they would they would come loose on their little buckles and they would slowly slowly slide down and then all the weight would just be on my hips and then it just made them pointless so last night I cut little slits through my actual belt all right I got one at the back here. So yeah, and I also figured out a new way to lock them in these buckles so that it doesn't come loose over time. When I ever put my bag on this, this strap here would always slide down here. So I'd have to spend a lot of time getting it right. But now, just throw it on. Clip it in and pretty much that's it. We don't glue the whole way down this wall because it's going to be tiled. And the reason why we do that is because if you put glue behind the villa board, when the glue dries it shrinks and it will pop your tiles off your wall. And you don't want that. I'll do like a, a hammer comparison real quick between this hammer that I made and my usual S-Twing 20 ounce.
easy winner. Righty. Thank you.